Hey what's going on guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can create a multi-step form using Elementor Pro. So if you have a long boring form with a bunch of fields, then multi-step form is the best solution for making it better for your user, which divides your big form into easy simple steps. Today we will see how we can create a fully functional form using the Elementor form widget and then we will transform that into a multi-step form. I will show you how you can play around with some cool features and step option of the form. So before starting this video, smash the like button and if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel to get more valuable videos like this. Alright, so here before creating our form, make sure you have already installed these two plugin on your WordPress. So if you don't know, here Elementor is free and Elementor Pro is the paid version of that. And to create our form, we need to install and activate both of them. I have linked up both of them in my description, you can get it from there. So basically these plugins are not only for creating forms, but this is a complete website builder where you can create any kind of modern looking website just by drag and drop. So right now you can see we have already installed these two plugins and if we go to the pages, and here you can see I have already created the contact page and we want to edit this page using the Elementor Builder ok so let's click on edit with Elementor you can see here I have already added some content inside this contact page right now I want to add a contact form on the right side of this section so on the left side on the editing panel I search for the form widget okay let's drag this here and you can see this is the default look of our form and here you can see the fields name email and message is added and if you want to add some additional field you can also do that by clicking this add item button so right now i want to add several number of fields in this form and then we will transform that form into a multi-step form so right now I want to add a field for receiving the telephone number of the user. So let's click on the add new button. And here is the option for adding the label of this field right here. So let's make it label to telephone. And also for this placeholder, make it to the same. And here if you want to change the order of these form fields, you can simply do that by dragging it up and down of each other. So let's right now quickly add some additional fields inside this form. Alright, so we have added all the fields inside our form and here you can see here is the field for the user's business, website, country, the budget for their project and here at the top I also changed the name field to the first name and also added the last name field. So right now I want to make these two fields on the same line. So if I go to the first name settings and here is the option for the column width. Let's make it to 50% and also for the last name also make it to 50. And you can see these two fields right now are on the same line. So here if you don't like these labels with each of the form field, you can also disable this from this label option right here. Okay. Right now let's quickly change the look of this form. So let's go to the style tab. First of all I want to adjust the gap between the form fields. So you can find the option right here which is row gap between the form fields. Let's make it to 21. Okay. And then on the form section here is the option for changing the form field design. Okay. First of all, let's make its color to black and also change its typography. Let's make its font to color. You can change the font size from here. I want to increase the line height of the form field. Let's make it to this and also the letter is pacing. I want to decrease this to minus 0.4. And after that here is the option for the border. So let's make the border color to something lighter. And I don't like this border radius. So I want to make it to fully rectangle. So let's make the border radius to 0. 
and then let's design this button right here so go to the button option and choose the typography the font family to the same font family like before increase the font size of the button okay and also decrease the letter spacing here and let's make it bold so choose the font weight to the bold okay so after that here you can see the option for changing the color of this button you can change the text and the background color let's make it to this blue color and also make its border radius to zero and if you don't like this full width button go to the content tab and in the button option right here deselect this alignment option of the justified so you can see right now it's on the perfect size okay so again we go to the style tab and the buttons options and we want to add some padding for this button let's make it 20 and i want to decrease it on the top and the bottom okay so we have completed designing our contact form right now i want to make it a multi-step form so if we go to the content tab again and first of all we need to click on the add item button right here and right now instead of the normal form field type select the field type to the step right here so you have noticed when i have selected the type to step an additional step is automatically added at the top of our form so basically this is our step one and this is our step two but here in this form i want to make these first four fields to keep it on the step one and then from the business field i want to start our step two so let's drag this step two above the business field right here and i want to duplicate this one again and this is our step three so let's drag this above the budget field right here so right now you can see any changes but if we change anything inside our form like i change the level of this field right now you can see the changes so here you can see here are some step indicator added above this form and here instead of the submit button this becomes to our next button so if we click on this okay so we need to fill up this form and click on the next button you can see this is our step 2 and our step 2 is starting from the business field which we have defined right here and right now if you go to our final step here you can see our submit button and right now i want to change the color for our previous button so let's go to the style tab again and go to the buttons and here is the option for changing the color for our previous button so let's make it background color to the black color okay and underneath here you can see here is also the option for changing the design of the steps like if you want to change its color you can do that right from here and if you notice here you can see there are three different tabs the first tab is for the inactive steps so the inactive step is the step which you didn't have completed right now so if we go to the step 2 right now the step 3 is the inactive step so let's change its color here is the option for the primary color i want to make it to fully black and after that here is the active step the active step is the step which we are currently on so right now we are on step 2 so let's make the step color for this step i choose the primary color to black and also the secondary color to this bluish color and for the completed step right now the number one step is the completed so let's make its primary color to this one and also the secondary color to black so after that here is the option for the divider width of this divider and this is the option for the divider gap which indicates the gap between this circle and the divider let's make it to 13 and lastly i want to make a little bit gap between this step indicator and the form field so make the spacing to 30 okay so we have completed designing our multi-step form which looks really cool 
right now i want to show you another thing if we go to our content tab and at the bottom if we go to the step settings here you can see you can choose different type of step style from here so right now it's the number and the text but if you want to choose the icon you can also do that and if we choose the number and text we can't see any text so if you want to add some text with that go to the form fields and from here each step option you can see here is the option for adding some level with this number let's add some level for this okay and here you can also see some option for adding the text for the next and previous button if you want to add some text instead of the default next and previous you can also define that from each of the steps from here and this is the option for the icons so when you choose the type icon you can select the icon from the icon library right here okay and if we go again to the step settings here you can see some additional option of the shape you can choose the square shape of this and also another shape okay and for the type i want to show you one another thing so here you can see the progress bar option and when you choose this option you can see instead of the steps here is a progress bar added and you can also change its design from the style tab and go to the steps and here you can see when you select the progress bar option here are some different options for customizing this progress bar like if you want to change this green color this background color this text color typography the height everything from here okay but here we would like to keep the previous settings so if i go to the step settings again choose it to number okay right now i want to update this page and if we go to preview our page you can see this form is added successfully to our page and right now we want to fill up this form to check everything is working properly okay after filling up all the fields if we submit this button you can see this success message and here also if you want to change the look of this success message you can also do that go to the style options and go to the messages you can change the typography and the text color from here okay right now if we go to our mail we can see we have received all the information which user have submitted throughout this form and on the letter we can also communicate them with their mail okay now here if we go to edit this page you can see right here this is the option for the mail and from here you can set the mail where you want to receive the user's information okay and here is the option for action after submit and right now it's only the mail and if you want to add another option like want to integrate this with mailchimp or the convert kit or another option like redirecting the user to a thank you page or showing a pop-up you can do all and everything from here all right so right now you can see how easily we can make our fully functional cool contact form with these simple steps and at last i want to tell you the contact form is the most important part of your website because it's the only place where your user can connect with you so you need to try your best to make it comfortable for your user and you can get more leads more clients and you can also get more money so it's really very important to make your form better okay so that's it for today hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next video